All right, folks, we're recording. I'm gonna share my screen. Please let me know if you can see it with thumbs up or you can also feel free to unmute yourself and speak if you prefer. All right. Oh, nice. <laughs> I got a thumbs up. Thanks. All right, so everyone, welcome today uh, to this uh, session for Mantis about uh, contributing to the WordPress community team. We will uh, focus on events and roles for today. I am, am Isotta. I am based in, uh, in Barcelona, Spain, and I'm a full-time contributor for the community team. If uh, you have any questions, there will be time at the end for a Q&A moment, but please also feel free to just uh, unmute yourself or write a question in the, um, um, in the chat uh, in the chat space. And I am not able right now while presenting to see the chat, but maybe Naoko or uh, your, yourself directly, you can unmute yourself and ask a question. But this presentation will last about uh, 30 minutes maximum, and there will be time also at the end for discussing, sharing feedback, and answering any question you might have. Thanks. All right. So what we will be talking about today? As mentioned, this session is going to focus mostly on events, WordPress events, and the community team roles and responsibility. We're going to start with a quick overview about different ways you can contribute to the community team. Then we'll dive into the types of WordPress events, what you can expect at WordPress events, what usually happens at uh, um, our events, then we will share a few resources about the events, and then um, we will focus on the community team roles and responsibilities. We wanted to um, to focus a little bit more about these roles because there have been changes in the past months, and also um, we've seen that it's it seems quite easy uh, for everyone to start contributing to the community team by organizing events, but there's still um, a lot of confusions about the other community team roles and the other ways that you can um, contribute and support other communities as well. So the main ways uh, we can contribute to the community team is by organizing events or becoming an event or a program supporter. Organize event, it can be a meetup, it can be a work camp, a do actions or a new type of event that will be we will uh, will uh, see in details in a few in a few moments or you can also decide to become an event or program supporters. These are roles that uh, we um, we talk a lot about those those roles in um, in this presentation. And these are roles uh, created to support organizers all around the world. A little bit of an overview about the organizational structure of the community team. We will come back on this later, but so. You can all have um, an overview of it. We, we're all community members. Let's say that we participate to the community, uh, to the WordPress community. We organize events. We attend WordPress events. And we are already part of the community. Then uh, there are two ways, as we saw, uh, we, we have just seen, um, become an organizer of an event by um, applying for event organization or becoming an event or program supporter. There is another path, another application and a different process, but these are all ways that we can um, support and uphold each other. Let's start from event organizing. Uh, to contributing as an event organizer is quite simple and straightforward. Anyone who is willing to follow the five good faith rules, which um, are the five rules um, 
that our um, our community is based on. I believe this could be familiar for you all. If or not, don't worry, we can share um, resources in the in the chat at the end of the presentation. So if you're willing to follow the five good faith rules, you want to respect our community code of conduct and embrace the principle of open source. And of course, you say that you organize an event and then you show up, you can organize a WordPress event. It's uh, very, very uh, simple and open. The, as the more we are, the better it is. So. Um, about the five good faith rules, which uh, again you will uh, you will get the, the link to this. So if you want to come back later, you you can do it. Basically, the these rules are the pillars of our community. I'm gonna read through them. Um, so the first rule says that WordPress meetups, and we can also extend it to any of our events, are for the benefit of the WordPress community as a whole, not specific businesses or individuals. The second rule says that we um, need to be open to all who wish to join, regardless of ability, skill, financial status, or any other criteria. Events are all volunteer run, with volunteer speakers. So the same that you as an organizer, uh, you're doing it as a volunteer. Non-speakers or other uh, collaborators should expect to be paid for participating. Fourth rule says that communities allow events to be organized by any reliable, trusted members. And the last one says that work, um, we need to work to foster an accepting environment which is free of discrimination, incitement of viol to violence, promotion of hate, and general jerk-like behavior. Mm. Summarizing these rules, we want for everyone uh, who wants to join the community to feel that they belong, don't feel any type of discrimination, and they feel that the final goal will always be the benefit of the whole community. So we don't want to push for a specific business to get visibility or to raise the visibility of individuals. We are there, all of us were there for each other. And we need to work for maintaining or making the, the spaces free of any discriminations. And um, regarding the fourth rules, this is, um, very important when it comes to building an organizing team or having more people joining you as an organizer. Everyone who desires to organize an event can organize it. Of course, if these are uh, people, um, reliable, uh, trusted members of, of your community, even if they don't have any experience organizing event, but they want to help you organizing, please let them in, teach them how to organize events, because the more the merrier, and uh, this also allows us to bring in more diversity in terms of people, in terms of ideas. And so these effects would also uh, have a benefit for your whole community. Okay, we, we said that who can organize WordPress events, but we haven't said yet what are these WordPress events then. WordPress events are um, any situation where uh, people of WordPress gather, connect, learn from each other, and also contribute to the WordPress project. There might be, there are different formats for gathering, and um, we will see each one of these right now. Starting from meetups, meetups are um, local groups um, that get together on a regular basis. Um, it can be once per month, other, uh, some meetups uh, gather um, every two or three months. It depends a little bit on the uh, needs of the community. But meetup groups are all over the world. Right now, there are over 700 meetups in more than 100 countries. What what do we mean by meetups? How we can have meetups? Basically, if you are already two people, 
talking about uh, WordPress things, uh, it can it can already be considered a meetup. All meetup meetups are free to join and of course to attend. And um, during your meetup, you can offer different types of activities. Some of the most common are presentations or lectures. There can be co-working, co-working sessions, also workshop or contribution contribution events, or also social gatherings are very important for putting back the community together. Even more now that we're coming back from a pandemic, social gatherings are um, very um, uh, like very loved and wanted by the community so folks can have a moment to uh, regroup get to know each other on a personal level and um, and then start organizing and planning the whole year at the end of the day if you have different ideas even better please feel free to organize different types of meetup and also um, Please share with the community team what did you do, uh, how was the um, the outcomes? Because there are um, basically no limits to what um, a meetup can be. As uh, um, the the important thing is to keep uh, respecting the the community the community values. How you can get involved in a meetup? First thing, attend a meetup event. You find the community on meetup.com. WordPress uh, meetups are, as I said, all, all over the world. You will find also the next, the upcoming events of your WordPress in your WordPress dashboard. So you can just sign up and attend the local meetup. You can volunteer to speak or organize a lead, a, an activity at a meetup. You can join the organizing team and help them organizing the events. And if there is no local meetup uh, in your city, you can apply to start one. Let's jump to WordCamps. WordCamps are another type of WordPress event. We're talking about um, slightly different events. They tend to be more conference style, um, longer events, um, usually with a little bit more Usually, WordCamps are bigger than meetups, and um, historically, they have happened once a year in uh, for each city. A little bit of an overview: the first WordCamp was held in uh, 2006 in San Francisco, and since then, the community have organized more than 1,100 WordCamps worldwide. Um, like same thing that we saw for meetups, also work camps can uh, um, have different types and formats. The main uh, categories are local work camps and flagship and regional work camps. Local work camps are city-based, organized by the local community, and uh, they target the local community. Flagship and regional events are bigger events, usually uh, organized by communities from different or different countries or different uh, um, regions within the same country. An event of uh, the local work camps could be work camp Paris, example, and um, an example of um, a flagship event. Work camp Europe, an event, uh, an example of a regional work camp could be WordCamp uh, um, work Denmark, for example. Typical schedule of a traditional WordCamps. Uh, WordCamps as uh, they are one or two days events, uh, in some cases three. Um, they usually have a registration in the morning, opening remarks, then there is the morning sessions with talks or workshops or activity, a break for lunch, Depending on the country, lunch break could be at 12, at 2 p.m. It depends on the, uh, on the local culture. Then you would um, almost always have an afternoon session, then a closing remark, and an after party. After party, 
uh, we call it this way, but it can be also like a social gathering, an informal gathering to um, keep spending time together without uh, having any talks on acti or activity to attend. Different um, type of, types of sessions that you can find at work camps. You have presentations, panels, roundtables, interviews, AMAs, um, workshop, and networking events. What can you do at work camps? Work camps usually offer a sponsor area, so you can walk, meet the sponsors, learn about their products, and connect with them. You can find uh, help desks or happiness bar sections. You have social events and also something that um, is called hallway track, uh, which is, and I, I found out the meaning, uh, the meaning of it uh, later because I, I, I'm Italian, I had no idea what a hallway track was. And basically it is just connecting to other people, chatting um, in the hallways between one session and another. Um, you can find very commonly in WordPress community contributor events. They can happen during a work camp or as a standalone event. Contributor events are moments where we encourage, support, and work together on WordPress projects. Uh, currently, there are 22 contributor teams um, within the WordPress ecosystem, and you can choose uh, you can choose any team that you'd love to contribute to. And also, very important, you can choose multiple teams. So if you're interested in community team, please come join us. And if you also have other interest, interests, please reach out to the other teams and they will be more than happy to, um, to have you join them. Another type of event that we see within our community is um, they call it, um, we call it, we call them youth events or kid camps. These are WordPress events, especially for young folks who are interested in learning about WordPress. Also in this case, we can find them as a part of a work camp or as a standalone event. We also have do action events. Do action events are hackathon focusing on using WordPress to give charitable organizations online presence. Um, what does it mean? That if we have um, non-profit organization who have not uh, online presence or um, they don't have um, a, a website that make them um, allow them to reach more people and to keep performing their charitable uh, activities, we gather and we help them uh, by creating them a, um, a website. And these are events organized by members of the local WordPress community usually. And now one uh, new introduction, well, something new, one of, the, one of the news of this year, um, are the next generation events. What do we mean by next generation of WordPress events? These um, are events that um, the community team is currently encouraging the organizer to, to try out because when we came back from the pandemic, we have seen that all our needs changed. The whole community needed something different that these, all these lives uh, received in some ways a, um, like a, a switch. So we gathered together with the whole community and we thought, okay, how can we reflect these new needs into our events? So the, um, this, um, this new generation of WordPress events is born from uh, the need of reactivating the community and bringing the community back together in a way that can spark innovation, can support the new needs. We also want to reach new and different audience and keep growing, growing as a healthy, sustainable community. Along with the new event formats, we also discovered um, a new, uh, let's say, uh, revisited purpose of our events. 
will prevent spark innovation and adoption by way of accessible training and networking for users, builders, designers, and extenders. We celebrate community by accelerating 21st century skills, professional opportunities, and partnerships for WordPressers of today and tomorrow. Many of us during the last these last years, we um, we changed careers. Uh, we we felt the need. I uh, wanted to learn something new to overcome our limits and to keep connecting more and more on a global level while coming back to the personal connection, in-person connection on a local level. So this is why we, uh, as a community, we launched this project this year and we're currently, um, we're currently um, supporting organizers who are planning and organizing pilot events in 2023. We saw um, a while, uh, a few, a few minutes ago, uh, the um, traditional format for war camps. Let's um, now see a little bit about uh, what the next generation events can be, because the limit is the sky. <laughs> so these are a few ideas that we have gathered um, by like sharing feedback, receiving feedback from the community. So we we received uh, um, ideas regarding events for uh, college campus based groups, so organizing events targeting a specific uh, group of students, self learning clubs, events for identity based groups, um, other events focusing on uh, like a sort of shark tank, so. Um, a ideas, pitching, uh, something more um, focusing on uh, the, the business world, how can I pitch me, my ideas to collaborators or sponsors. We have uh, received feedbacks about and ideas about WordPress Learn App, um, sponsor networking day to connect uh, with sponsors on a deeper level and also job fairs. One last but not least type of event that you'll see in uh, in our community are um, events to, um, and to introduce you to the open source workshop. So um, we um, we spread knowledge and um, we want everyone to understand um, the open web and open source um, through. Training events, they can be online. Um, if you want to organize an in-person event, please let, let us know. We will be more than happy to support you. And the goal of these events are to highlight the potential of open source software in regions where there are less participations. To summarize what we have seen until now, uh, Different and easy way to get involved in the community is attending events, becoming a speaker or leading an activity, volunteer to help because all events need volunteers to then run all things smoothly during uh, during the event days, and then of course become uh, you can become an event organizer. Let's jump now to the community roles and responsibility. We've seen that, okay, there are so many types of events. There are uh, many, many, many organizers all around the world. There, there is a need of a group of people, a team behind the scene who can support organizers and help them to to run their, their events in the most uh, uh, smooth and uh, easiest way possible. The mission of, um, the mission of events and, uh, and program supporters is to serve uh, our community, uh, to serve the new event types and provide guidance and support to uh, the rest of the organizers. This year, we have uh, we we have introduced slightly different roles 
um, compared to the past, and we have renamed some of those. So remember the organizational structure that we see we saw at the beginning. We have introduced this year the event supporters. Formerly, we used to call them mentors, and we only had in the past work camp mentors. Now we want to offer also support to meetups group and so under the umbrella of event, event supporters, we will be providing support to all event types and all type of organizers. Program supporters, formerly called deputies, and then we have program manager, the formerly super deputies. Let's see now each uh, each role, uh, uh, who um, like the the requirements to join uh, as in a specific role and the um, our responsibility. Let's start with event supporters. The goal uh, the goal of event supporters is to make uh, events easier to organize and improve attendee experience. Um, how we do it? We check in with organizers and we provide guidance and support. We also work as a bridge between organizers and the community team. In this way, we hope to uh, remove part of uh, the, the task, uh, the responsibility from organizers' shoulders and working as a point of contact. Um, the requirements become an event supporter. Well, you need to love WordPress and WordPress community, desire to meet other people because you would support uh, not only folks in your region, but also folks in other, in other countries if, uh, if of course, you, you have a, a language in common. Then um, we, we ask for effective communication skills, organizational skills, reliability because we as event supporters we need to be able to communicate find the best way to communicate with the organizers and also help them um, keep on track uh, with their uh, with their planning we also require to complete uh, uh, two training courses program supporters formerly deputies are those who respond to all requests for, uh, from the community members on Slack, email. Um, there are many, many folks uh, uh, spread out in, um, in different countries. And every day uh, we receive uh, requests on different channels. Uh, and we, our um, main goal is to respond to these requests. As a program supporters, we also vet application. So we review all applications that arrive to the community for any type of any type of events or any type of um, support that um, that organizers um, applies. And we also interview um, applicants and have them moving forward with their event planning. Another of the tasks that we take care of is to handle swag shipment. So anytime that we need to, an event needs to receive um, pins, buttons, lanyard, and etc., we handle all the all the shipments. Um, what are the, um, the the type of experience that we required uh, required for being becoming a program supporters? Have to have been part of an organizing um, an organizing team for a work camp or meetup. Um, some familiarity with the WordPress community, of course. <laughs> um, search skills. These um, gonna be very useful for application review. Effective communication skills. Friendly and welcoming attitude. So we we would love to have only nice people in uh, in this role because we have to support uh, folks who need help or they're having a problem. So we want to be um, friendly and welcoming as much as possible with everyone. And um, there are also in this case uh, trainings that we require to complete. Then the last uh, um, 
the last role that we we will be seeing today uh, is the program manager, formerly um, called super deputies. These um, the people performing in these roles are former program supporters um, who can now perform budget reviews for events. They create event sites, they moderate crisis, organize training, and also negotiate global sponsorship agreements. Program managers are veteran program supporters with global experience, historical knowledge, and most importantly, long, not most importantly, but very important, long-term commitment to the community. The community every year uh, vote for uh, the, um, its community team uh, representative. This year, Kate, Junko, and Leo our, our, our um, team reps. We host early yearly elections. They lead the community meetings. They define the community team goals and organize community team activities at flagship uh, event contributor days. There is another um, another sub team within the community team. We call it IRT, Incident Response Team. The um, it is the team um, formed by people who are trained to handle incidents. So the the responsibility of the um, Incident response team is not to actively search or monitor behavior within the community or at events, but to be a resource for uh, to the community when things don't go as expected. There are ways to reach out to the incident response team, and once the incident response team received a, um, an incident report, they will they will. Uh, start investigation to help the community where the uh, the incident occurred. Okay, so now it's time to get involved with the, the, the community team. Um, probably even more like even easier than starting organizing or proactively uh, applying. Uh, the easiest thing is to join the community meetings and all our conversation on Slack and the May community uh, blog. All our team meetings are held the first Thursday of every month at 12 UTC and 9 p.m. UTC on Slack in the community team channel. And as I mentioned, you can also apply to become a, an event and or a program supporter. One role doesn't exclude the other. Here are a few links that you might find useful from our handbook, the, the blog. We have handbooks for organizers, for, um, for program and event supporters, uh, and a few other resources that you, you might find useful. I can share all of those in the in the chat in a, in a second. All right, <laughs> I thank you all for joining us today. Um, I'm gonna stop sharing and let's see if anyone anybody has some question. Feel free to unmute yourself if you want to ask anything. Oh, and welcome to all those who have joined us. <laughs> During the during the presentation, there are much more people now. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna meanwhile gonna check the the chat to see if I've missed some some question. Uh, thank you so much now for sharing all the links. Yes, yes, please unmute yourself. Um, and also, uh, can you, hi, hello. thanks, hello, thank you, How thank do you, you do? for joining us. I'm doing great, thanks. How are you doing? Yes, uh, thanks for the asking. I am good too. Uh, uh, I have one question. Uh, 
which you have said this url uh, for the uh, join the community team right a uh, yes you... yes okay yeah. Yes, I'm sorry. Are you asking if uh, to share the link? Uh, no. My question is if I I am I I will join the uh, community team. So uh, so you have said uh, the link in chat, right? How to join in community teams? Ah uh, yes, yes. Look, yep. depending uh, depending on the role that you're interested in. Uh, yes. There are uh, uh, different links. Which type of role? you were looking for yep, yep. i got it yeah. i got it your point ah, thanks okay. for the sharing <laughs> thank you i'm gonna you can find already the links shared in the in the chat i can re share them now at the end so you can grab the link that you prefer but if you scroll if you scroll the the chat you'll find sent from naoko takano she has shared there Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Does anyone else have questions to ask or comments? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, see that it, there was a question regarding. Um, Okay, regarding the application, um, I'm, I'm gonna read it uh, for everyone. So in case uh, it can be useful for others. We received um, a question from Hans. I would like to organize a WordPress meetup here in Atterdon, Germany. And yesterday I filled out the form on um, the WordCamp Central the website and send it off. Um, we can use the location here for free. If possible, can you tell me where I can expect an answer? Thanks a lot, Hans, for asking this question and also for uh, once you organize a, a WordPress meetup in your city. We, um, we usually, we try to always give a, a replies within uh, uh, one or two weeks, depending on the moment of the year. We can be a little slower, uh, usually when uh, there are some big events and so all uh, program supporters or most of them are are busy uh, with supporting events like for example uh, work camp us happening at the end of this month if uh, you don't hear anything back from us before the next uh, 10 14 days please feel free to to ping us on slack and um, and we will uh, we we will reply to to your pings. And I don't think there are any older uh, questions. Ha, huh? Hans, thank you, <laughs> thank you for joining us. If uh, there are no more questions or doubts, we can. Uh, uh, we can end this, this session. I will upload the recording on WordPress TV and let you know let you know once the um, once the recording is uh, is available. And also, oh, hey, Davin, yes, please <laughs> unmute yourself and uh, ask a question or share with. Sorry, <laughs> hi everyone. I'm Devin. I'm actually um, listening to Isota's presentation and keep go moving back and forth and slack and and the presentation um i would just like to use this opportunity to also because we i, I i'm aware that we have 15 minutes um if uh, because i know there's hans and bridget and i know you both of you have talked to harmony about the next gen event so this is the recent uh project that we all excited about so isota i'm not trying to hijack the the session but if anybody wants to ask any question about the next gen event, um, Isota, me, and now here are happy to respond. Um, oh, we have three minutes? No, 15 minutes? Yeah. Oh. No, I actually, session <laughs> ends in three minutes, but don't worry if anybody has um, 
any question regarding next gens, um, we can uh, we can certainly stay um, five more minutes to answer all questions you have. Okay, no worries then. Five minutes will do. Um, so Hans and Bridget, and I see also there's Junko here. Um, if you have any questions specifically, because Junko has applied. So Junko is the lead um, organizer for next gen event in Japan. It's going to be an online event focusing on training the community. And I think Hans and Bridget, I know you have met with um, Harmony um, during the discovery call talking about what you all wanted to do in reactivating the community in Germany. And I think if I'm not mistaken, your ideas is specifically about finding an innovative um, approach to connect meetup organizers and WordCamp organizers in Germany. So I'm just going to add two things that we wanna see from next gen events moving forward. First, we really wanna see an event that we've never seen happening in the WordPress ecosystem. If you can come up with a great, innovative, creative ID that we can support, that is doable, replicable, scalable, uh, let us know. Um, particularly events that we've never seen happening in our WordPress ecosystem, because we know our meetup organizers, WordCamp organizers, they, are no, they know how to organize conferences, trainings, and workshop. So if you can come up with something exciting uh, that is different from conferences and training and workshop, that will be great. And the second thing that we wanna really see in the next gen event is how we can bring new audiences, new attendees um, to our events because WordPress needs to get bigger and stronger and we need fresh innovative minds to actually make WordPress bigger and stronger. Um, so yeah, um, that's basically the two things that we are looking from next gen events. That's it. Any, any questions, Bridget? We are going, yeah, let me read your messages. I feel you Rico and yeah, well, if you have any, 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 anything. Um, so you, you know how we do um, contributor day. Um, if you find a, a different format on how our community can contribute, but more exciting than just lecturing in a, uh, on, a, in, um, on a table, like in, in the same table, um, then yeah, um, let us know. Um, it might be called something else. It doesn't have to be called contributor day but basically um, allowing folks to experience how to contribute to WordPress.org project. Um, and it doesn't have to be um, coding, programming, anything that you feel like, um, oh, this is something that my community needs and I can contribute to help that happen. Um, yeah, what can Germany is happening soon as well in October 19 to, um, was that 19 to 12? Okay, probably I got it wrong. 21st, sorry, not 12. <laughs> <laughs> the 21st, yes. This and was a new call. event, a new, a new <laughs> format. <laughs> to go I've never seen. I think that <laughs> <back to it. laughs> and Rico, um, if you have time to check out our Meetup Organizer Handbook, we do actually have a page that lists down the kind of format we can do for our Meetup events. I agree that folks tend to fall into organizing the same kind of lecture format while you can actually um, organize um, something different, uh, brown bag discussion, uh, even just a co-working or networking or thank you now, or um, well, I'm gonna say the Japanese community have done a photo walk two times in fact, especially in Tokyo, where you bring the community members, your meetup members out go out, take the uh, mobile phone and SLR camera probably and take pictures and then upload it to the WordPress photo directory. So that is fun. 
Um, you don't need a venue, basically. Um, you might need something like to uh, refreshment after a long walk. Uh, but that would be um, nice as well to have an outdoor sort of activity. And then people get a batch, a photo contributor batch by uploading just one photo. So that's exciting. Several times, already several times. Oh my God, Jakarta trying to catch up, but it hasn't happened. <laughs> and it's already several times in Tokyo. Yeah, um, Moses, I asked if the team could come up with a standard template for a concept proposal for the next uh, generation WordPress event. We are preparing that. Um, we're gonna have a dedicated application, but at the moment, um, before the discovery call, we already, send um, a list of information that we want to hear from you so that I'm sorry this doesn't this didn't ha happen with you Bridget and Hans um, and Junko but moving forward um, before the discovery call we want to have a uh, a list of information that you can prepare um, and then when we have the discovery call um, we can really focus on um, helping you shape your idea so yeah so more oh Moses, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention in Masaka, we're also going to have a, uh, an event, next gen event, and it's focusing on students showcasing their uh, project. So it's targeting students, but it's about um, project showcase. So yeah, that's also something new. Yay. All right, Izota, I think this is more than five minutes. Sorry. That's <laughs> I hijacked your session. <laughs> No, 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 that's why it's more than more than welcome and um, really relevant. So thanks for jumping in. Thank you, everyone, mm -hmm. for joining this session. Uh, as we mentioned, you can always find the community team on Slack uh, if you come up with a new question or feedback or something that you want to share. Feel free to drop a message in uh, um, the community event channel and we can keep um, keep the conversation going in there and so other folks can also jump in uh, and participate it was lovely all to right. to see you all i wish you a great week thank you isota and everyone thank you thank you bye 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 bye, -bye. bye.